I, I are also very confused when you have to write few incidents that happen in a sequence in an English sentence. Do you also find difficulty in choosing between followed by and following in your sentence? And do you fear that you will lose your precious money, your precious time and also will lose a lot of opportunities just because of this? Well, do not worry. In today's episode, we'll be teaching you the exact same. How to use followed by and following in your sentences. I'm Dr. Anupama, the Academic Director of Odin English. So, before going to the lesson, if you have not yet subscribed to our video channel, YouTube channel, please subscribe now. Press the subscribe button and please do not forget to press the bell icon. So, to understand the concept of followed by and following, we'll consider a scenario here. For you, I have set an example of a beautiful girl. Let us call her Emma. So, Emma loves to ride scooters, but she has one problem. She never obeys the traffic rules and she loves to go on the full speed. You know, she loves to have air in her hair. So, one day she set out just like that and she was riding a scooter and what happened she met with an accident and she fractured her leg immediately uh, someone called up the ambulance and the ambulance took her to the hospital she was hospitalized and she also underwent a surgery so that's the story of emma now let's split these incidents into two. First one is where she went out had an accident and fractured a leg and the second incident is wherein she was hospitalized and underwent a surgery so now we have two incidents or two events one is Emma met with an accident and fractured her leg second one is she was hospitalized and underwent a surgery so we'll call the first incident incident A and we'll call the second incident incident B Now, we can use followed by and following to connect these two incidents, that is the first event and the second event, or the event A and event B. So let's see how do we actually connect these two incidents using followed by and following. So guess what? I'm going to give you the formula, this very simple formula that will take away all the confusion and you'll be able to use followed by and following with utmost confidence. So let me repeat what I told you earlier. Our first incident will be called incident A and our second incident will be called incident B. So let's have a look at the formula. First formula one, incident A plus followed by plus incident B. So if you have two incidents, you'll first write the first incident and then you'll write followed by and then you will write the second incident. Now the second formula, incident B plus following plus incident A. So that is, you will write the second incident first and then you will write following and then you will write the first incident. So B plus following plus A.
Now lastly, you can also write the second one in a different format. You can start with following. So that formula would be following plus incident A plus incident B. So these are the three simple formulae with which you can use these two terms which is very 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 confusing for most of the people and which would change the entire meaning of the sentence if used incorrectly. Now let's try the same with the example of Emma, that girl who loved to ride bikes a lot. So let's construct sentences for Emma's incident, wherein she went on biking, met with an accident, fractured a leg, got hospitalized and underwent a surgery. So I'm going to use following and followed by for Emma's case. First one, Emma met with an accident and fractured a leg, followed by hospitalization and surgery. Let me repeat it. Emma met with an accident and fractured a leg, followed by hospitalization and surgery. The second one using following. Emma underwent hospitalization and surgery following an accident and fracture of leg. Now let us use a third structure for Emma's case. Following a road traffic accident and fracture of her leg, comma, Emma was hospitalized and underwent a surgery. So this is the way how when the reader will understand the timeline or the sequence of events without any confusion. Just type in your email ID before May 1st of 2020 and we will give you an activity chart to help you practice following and followed by absolutely free. So please do not forget to subscribe our channel, press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon.